Hi, this is Marie. I'm one of your My Besties Design Team YouTube members, and I have a project to share with you today. Today, I'm going to share with you a Sherry Baldy image that I colored, and I created a sticky notepad um, cover for this. It's one of the larger uh, notepads. You just um, adhere it in, and uh, you can easily um, tear the pages out and replace it as needed. I colored my image using Copic alcohol ink markers. Now I want to show you and share with you how I created this um, sticky note cover. My sticky notepad is one of the larger ones and it's four inches by six inches. And I used a chipboard. Uh, you can use cereal box, anything. And I have it a little larger. I have this at six by one fourth by four by one fourth inches. And I cut two. I cut this white paper cardstock the same, six by one fourth and four by one fourth, because I want to completely cover the chipboard. You'll need four of those now. And my matte layer, I have uh, cut four of them, and they're six by four inches. You'll need um, two for the top flap and two for the bottom. And the designer paper is cut at three and three-fourths by five and three-fourths. And you'll need two of those if you just want the front and back covered. You uh, can cut four if you want the inside, but on this one I'm just going to cover the very front and the back. I'm going to adhere the designer paper to my matte layer. You can use just any double-sided tape, or you might want to use the red line paper tape or score tape will actually uh, be a little more durable, but I love to keep changing them, so I'm just going to use double sided tape from my ATG. And now I'm going to cover the back, put those layers on my chipboard. And I find it easier to actually put the double-sided tape at this point on the chipboard itself. It's a little more sturdy. Now I'll adhere, first of all, the white cardstock. You can use any color you want. But I'm going to be, um, and secure it, kind of burnish it down with your finger, nice and, and sturdy. And I'm uh, repeating the process for the other, and you will put this white cardstock on both sides of each um, chipboard. I kind of ruined my, um, my regular cutter uh, with this cardstock, so you might want to do it by hand um, with just scissors. <laughs> I love these um, projects. They make such cute gifts. People really seem to like them. And again, we're covering them with the cardstock on both sides. And the important thing will be that the edges may turn up a little, so you'll want to file those down a little. Uh, only uh, using your uh, sandpaper in one direction, um, and that will help prevent some of the uh, edges from curling up. And now we're going to adhere the matte layer and designer layer to the white cardstock. You should have about an eighth of an inch all around each side evenly. And again, burnish it really well with your finger. You're going to put this on one side of um, each of your chipboard covers. And again, if you want to, you can 
um, apply the designer paper to both sides of each, but I'm going to demonstrate just um, putting the designer paper only on the front and the back. But I will apply the layer actually to both sides because I don't want uh, it to be just plain when they open up their little notepad. So now we will go ahead and apply the matte layer, just a plain matte layer, to the reverse side of my second cover. Again, about an eighth of an inch all the way around. Now you have your back and you have your front. And now for the little topper, by four and one fourth, by four inches, and I scored at one and one and a half. And on the other side, the longer side, I did some decorative trim. On the other, it's four and one fourth, inches by two and a half. And again, on one side, score at one and one and a half inches. Now I cut a piece of um, chipboard at one eighth of an inch by four and a uh, fourth. And I'm going to just adhere this to the very center in between the two score lines of the longer one. And again, burnishing, uh, kind of sanding the edge of the chipboard. And as that folds over, it will give it a little extra strength. And then we're just going to only, um, we're going to adhere this now, align it, um, the uh, center of the score lines to where the chipboard is. And you can fold the other edges down and adhere those with some glue or some double-sided tape. Now, as we um, adhere this, we're not going to adhere the uh, very center part in between the score lines. We're just going to adhere the top from the score line down and the bottom from the score line down. You're not going to want to put any double-sided tape at this point in that in between the two score lines because you're going to want to be able to fully flip the notepad open without it adhering to your cover. So leave that part uh, with no um, tape whatsoever. That needs to remain tape free. And adhere this now, the top part. And there it goes. And you can burnish it with your fingers, get a nice seal on there. And then we're going to take our little um, scratch paper and actually um, with a score tool actually really make sure that's sealed nicely. I'm going to just only add some tape to the very top part of the um, notepad. It will um, hold just fine with only uh, about four lines from the top. I'm uh, embellishing this with a little bow, a ribbon. Something uh, just a, a easy, quick and easy, simple bow tie. And there you have it. And now I'm going to um, just add a little bit more, uh, one more notepad on there for measure. I'm going to put um, kind of a, a blue green to match the ribbon 
on there and just adhere that in the same manner four lines across the very top and adhere it to the top page of the orange one and there you have a, a really cute one and it's all ready for your my besties focal image to be applied you can also just put a sentiment if you'd like I hope you enjoyed this, and if you do, give it a thumbs up. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.